Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am your instructor, facilitator and mentor Dr. Aisha Mahmood and I welcome you all to the fourth week of online course Introduction to Information Technology. Lecture 1 and 2 introduced you to the concepts related to communication, web and services available on the internet. In this lecture, we will first discuss about the various types of digital media and other services available on internet and secondly about the net tickets. After completing this lecture, you would be able to explain how the web uses graphics, animation, audio, video and virtual reality. Explain how email, email lists, internet messaging, chat rooms, online discussion, voice over internet protocol and FTP work. And identify the rules of netiquettes. Most web pages include multimedia, which refers to any application that combines text with media. Media includes graphics, animation, audio, video and virtual reality. In the next few slides, we will be discussing how the web uses these, these types of media. A graphic is a visual representation of non-text information such as drawing, chart or photo. Many web pages are use colorful graphics to convey messages as you can see in this slide as shown in this slide some uh, websites use thumbnails on their pages because larger pictures or graphics can be time consuming to display a thumbnail is a small version of a larger image you usually can tap or click a thumbnail to display the image in full size The web often use, uses infographics to present concepts, products and news. An infographic, short for information graphic, is a visual representation of data or information designed to communicate quickly, simply complex concepts or present patterns or trends. As you can see as an example in front uh, of you, many forms of uh, infographics it exist for example maps signs charts and diagrams of the different graphic formats for displaying image images on the web um, you have in front of like bmp gif jpeg ping and tiff the jpeg jpeg and PNG that is ping formats are more common. J, JPEG pronounced as JPEG, JPEG pronounced as JPEG is a compressed graphics format that attempts to reach a balance between image quality and the file size. With JPG files, the more compressed the file, the smaller the image and the lower the quality. Then comes the ping. In terms of popularity, ping pronounce PNG ko hum ping pronounce karenge. Ping is a uh, patent free compressed graphics format that restores all image details when the file is viewed. That is, ping format does not lose image quality during compression. Now, we will see the different formats like different formats, like BMP, which is bitmap, which is desktop backgrounds or scanned images. Ke liye use kiya jata hai. GIF uh, jo hai wo graphics interchange format hai and that is uh, used for images with few colors uh, for simple graphs, diagrams and shapes. Phir JPEG hai joint photographic experts group uh, that is for used for digital camera photos, games, screenshots and movie still shots. Then comes the ping portable network graphics that is used for comic style drawing, line art, web graphics. And then the last is TIFF, that is tagged image file format used for photos, uh, for printing 
uh, industry. Many web pages use animation, which is the appearance of motion created by displaying a series of still images in sequence. For example, text that animates by scrolling across the screen can serve as a ticker to display stock updates, news, sports, uh, weather, or other information. Web-based games often use animation. On the web, you can listen to audio clips and live audio. Audio includes music, speech, or any other sound. Simple applications consist of individual audio files available for download to a computer or any device. Once downloaded, you can play, means you can listen to the content of these files. Now you need to read how to article section of your chapter number two for instructions about downloading digital media from online services. Other applications use streaming audio so that you can listen to the audio while it downloads. Audio files are compressed to reduce their file sizes. For example, MP3 format reduces an audio file uh, to about one tenth of its original size while preserving much of the quality uh, of the sound. To listen to an audio file on your computer, you need special software called a media player. Most current operating systems contain a media player. For example, uh, the Windows operating system includes Windows Media Player. Some audio files, however, might require, to down, uh, might require you to download a media player. Media player available for download includes iTunes and Real Player. You can download uh, media players free from the web. Now you need to visit uh, the chapter's free resources to learn more about audio file formats. On the web, you can view video clips or watch live video. Video consists of images displayed in motion. Most video also has accompanying audio. You also can upload, share, or view video clips at a video sharing site like YouTube. Educators, politicians, and businesses use video blogs and video podcasts to engage students, voters, and consumers. Simple video applications on the web consist of individual video files, such as movie or television clips that you must download completely before you can play them on a computer or mobile device. Video files often are compressed because they are quite large in size. Videos have file extension MP4. And posted video to the web often are short in length, usually less than 10 minutes, because they can take a long time to download. As with streaming audio files, Streaming video files allow you to view long, longer or live videos by playing them as they download to your computers. You can always uh, discover more by visiting chapter number two's free resources to learn more about the video file formats. Okay, virtual reality is the use of computers to simulate a real or imagined environment that appears as a three-dimensional space. VR involves the display of 3D images that users explore and manipulate interactively. Using special VR software, a developer creates an entire 3D environment that contains infinite space and depth called a virtual reality world. A virtual reality world on the web, for example, might show a house for sale where potential buyers walk through rooms in the VR house by sliding their fingers on a touch screen or moving an input device forward, backward, or to the side. In addition to games and simulations, 
many practical applications of virtual reality also exist science educators create virtual reality models of molecules organisms and other structures for students to examine companies use virtual reality to showcase products or create advertisement architects create virtual reality models of buildings and rooms so that clients can see how completed construction project will look before it is built most browsers have the capability of displaying basic multimedia elements on a web page um, sometimes however a browser requires an additional program called a plugin to display multimedia a plugin or add-on is a program that extends the cap capability of a browser for example your browser may require adobe reader to view and print pdf files you typically can download plugins at no cost from various websites some plugins run on all sizes of the computers and mobile devices other have special versions for mobile devices some mobile devices and browsers however do not support plugins for this reason web designers are using newer technologies to create websites that display correctly in both desktop and mobile browsers these technologies generally do not require the use of plugins to display media to learn more about plugins you should visit this chapter's free resources as previously mentioned the web is only one of the many services of the internet other internet services include the following like email email lists in internet messaging chat rooms online discussion voice over internet protocol and ftp that is file transfer protocol let's go through these uh, other services one by one number one is the email email that is short for electronic mail is the transmission of messages and files via a computer network email was one of the original services of the internet enabling scientists and researchers working on government sponsored projects to communicate with colleagues at other locations we use an email program to create send receive forward store print and delete email messages email programs are available as desktop apps web apps and mobile apps an email message can be simple text or can include an attachment such as a document a graphic an audio clip or a video clip just as you address a letter when using a postal when using the postal system your address you address an email message with the email address of your intended recipient likewise when someone sends you a message he or she must have your email address so ek email address kya hota hai ek email address is a combination of a username and a domain name that identifies a user so that he or she can receive internet email let's see username kya hota hai username is a unique combination of characters such as letters of alphabets or numbers that identifies a specific user your username must be different from other usernames in the same domain for example a username aisha mahmood whose server has a domain name of ue.edu.pk might want to select aisha.mahmood as her username if ue.edu.pk already has an aisha.mahmood username then she will have to select a different username such as aisha m or m aisha sometimes organizations decide the format of usernames for new users so that the usernames are consistent across the company in many cases 
However, users select their own username. Often selecting a nickname or any other combination of the characters for their username. Many users select a combination of their first and last name so that others can remember it easily. In an internet email address, an at sign or symbol separates the username from the domain name. Your service provider supplies the domain name. A possible email address for Aisha Mahmood would be Aisha dot mahmood at ue dot edu dot pk most email programs allow you to create a contact contacts folder which contains a list of names addresses phone numbers email addresses and other details about people with whom you communicate to learn more about the email programs please visit this chapter's free resources. What are the good practices to follow when using email? You should keep your messages brief, respond to messages promptly, use proper grammar, spelling, and punctuation, never respond to unsolicited messages use meaningful subject lines read the message before you send it use email when you want a permanent record of a communication aur kuch cheeze main aur add kar dun yahan pe aksar students mujhe jab email bhejte hain to bahut informal tarike se address karte hain to dekhiye sabse pehle to jaise aap for example मुझे एड्रेस करेंगे तो आप लिखेंगे डियर डॉक्टर आयशा अस्सलाम वालेकुम सो अस्सलाम वालेकुम इज द सैल्यूटेशन तो प्रॉपर सैल्यूटेशन के बाद आपने लिखना है कि आपका प्रॉब्लम क्या है उसको ठीक पहराए में डू नॉट यूज एनी एब्रीविएशन प्रॉपर सेंटेंस लिखें और फिर जब एंड करें तो आप लिख सकते हैं कि थैंक यू इन एंटिसपेशन योर्स सिंसियरली अपना नाम लिखें अपना रोल नंबर लिखें अपना प्रोग्राम अपना सेक्शन अपना सेमेस्टर ये सारी चीज़ें ज़रूरी हैं क्योंकि एक ही वक्त में एक टीचर मुख्तफ स्टूडेंट्स को मुख्त प्रोग्राम्स को पढ़ा रहा होता है तो उसके लिए ये बहुत बड़ा इशू बन जाता है कि उससे लोकेट नहीं होता कि ये किस स्टूडेंट की ई है तो अपनी आइडेंटिफिकेशन पूरी लिखें और अपना जो भी आप टेक्स्ट लिखें उसको दैट नीड टू बी चेक्ड फॉर ग्रामर स्पेलिंग एंड फॉर ग्रामर एंड स्पेलिंग एंड पंक्चुएशन हाउ एन ई मेल मैसेज में ट्रेवल फ्राम आ सेंडर टू आ रिसीवर इस तस्वीर में यू कैन सी हाउ एन ई मेल मैसेज में ट्रेवल फ्राम आ सेंडर टू रिसीवर तो स्टेप नंबर वन में होता क्या है यूजिंग एन ईमेल प्रोग्राम यू क्रिएट एंड सेंड अ मैसेज ऑन अ कंप्यूटर और अ मोबाइल डिवाइस एस स्टेप नंबर टू आपका जो ईमेल प्रोग्राम है वो क्या करता है दैट कॉन्टेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन द ऑन गोइंग मेल सर्वर देन एस स्टेप नंबर थ्री सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन ऑन गोइंग मेल सर्वर डिटर्मिन्स द बेस्ट रूट फॉर द डेटा एंड सेंड्स द मैसेज which travels along internet routers to the recipient's incoming mail server phir ye internet router se hota hua aapke incoming mail server pe chala jata hai aur as a fourth step when the recipient uses an email program to check for email messages the message transfers from the incoming mail server to the recipient's computer or mobile device As you receive email messages an incoming mail server holds the message in your mailbox until you use your email program to retrieve them most email programs have a mail notification alert that it, that informs you via a message or a sound when you receive a new email message
An email list or electronic mailing list is a group of email addresses used for mass uh, distribution of a message. When a message is sent to a, an email list, each person on the list receives a copy of the message in his or her mailbox. You subscribe to an email list by adding your email address to the mailing list, which is stored on a list server. Uh, to remove your name from uh, there, you need to unsubscribe from the mailing list. The original use of email lists such as list serve allowed uh, any subscriber to send a message which created a discussion type forum among all subscribers via email. Many mailing lists today such as shown in figure 2.27 in front of you uh, are one-way communications and do not allow subscribers to send messages. So, this basically is what you have to say that 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 you have to say और उसके साथ उन्होंने लिखा होता है कि do not reply, so इसका मतलब है कि आप उनको as uh, reply नहीं कर सकते। Internet messaging services, which often occur in real time, are communication services that notify you when one or more of your established contacts are online, and then allows you to exchange messages or files. Or join a private chat room with them. Real time means that you and the people with whom you are conversing are online at the same time. This is also called synchronous communication. Just may our dono jo sites hai, dono jo established contacts hai, wo ek hi wakt mein communicate kar rahe hote Whereas email is a service which is called asynchronous communication service. Because uh, even if you are not online, you can receive the inf uh, email into your mailbox, and later when you get uh, when you get online, you can check your email that is in your mailbox. Some internet messaging services support voice and video conversations, allow you to send photos and other documents to a recipient. Listen to streaming music and play games with uh, another online contact. For real-time internet messaging to work, both parties must be online at the same time. Also, the receivers of a message must be willing to accept the messages. To use an internet messaging service, you may have to install messenger software or an app on the computer or mobile device such as smartphone you plan to use. Many online social networks include a messaging feature. To ensure successful communications, all individuals on the friend list need to use the same or a compatible messenger. So to learn more about the internet messaging services, please visit the chapter's free resources. Those are available in this week's uh, extra resources. A chat is a real-time typed conversation that takes place on a computer or mobile device with many other online users. A chat room is a website or application that permits users to chat with others who are online at the same time. A server echoes the user's message to everyone in the chat room. Anyone in the chat room can participate in the conversation, uh, which usually is specific to a particular topic. Businesses uh, sometimes use chat rooms to communicate with customers. As you type on a keyboard, other contacted, uh, connected to the same chat room servers also see what you have typed. Some chat rooms support voice chats and video chats in which people hear or see each other as they chat. Most browsers today include the capability to connect to a chat server.
An online discussion or discussion forum is an online area in which users have written discussions about a particular subject. To participate in a discussion, a user posts a message called an article and other users read and reply to the message. A thread or threaded discussion consists of the original article and all subsequent related replies. तो किसी ने अगर कुछ पोस्ट किया है तो आपने जब उसका जवाब देंगे तो वह उसके साथ इन थ्रेडेड रिस्पॉन्स रिकॉर्ड हो जाएगा सम डिस्कशन फॉरम्स रिक्वायर दैट यू एंटर अ यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द डिस्कशन फॉर एग्जांपल एन ऑनलाइन डिस्कशन फॉर स्टूडेंट्स टेकिंग अ कॉलेज कोर्स मे रिक्वायर अ यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड टू एक्सेस द डिस्कशन जैसे कि आपके गूगल क्लासरूम में आप सिर्फ जो डिस्कशन करेंगे वो सिर्फ वो वो लोग स्टूडेंट्स कर सकते हैं जिन्होंने वो गूगल क्लासरूम ज्वाइन किया होगा दिस इंश्योर्स दैट ओनली स्टूडेंट्स इन द कोर्स पार्टिसिपेट इन दैट डिस्कशन पोस्ट्स इन एन ऑनलाइन डिस्कशन यूजुअली आर स्टोर फॉर अ सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम सच एज अमेस्टर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल एंड देन वी कैन जस्ट रिमूव इट और वी कैन आरफाइव इट वॉइस ओवर इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल एनेबल्स यूजर्स टू स्पीक टू अदर यूजर्स बाय देयर इंटरनेट कनेक्शन दैट इज वॉइस ओवर इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल यूज द इंटरनेट इंस्टेड ऑफ पब्लिक स्विच टेलीफोन नेटवर्क टू कनेक्ट अ कॉलिंग पार्टी टू वन और मोर लोकल और लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस कॉल्ड पार्टी टू प्लेस एन इंटरनेट फोन कॉल यू नीड टू हैव अ ब्रॉडबैंड इंटरनेट कनेक्शन a microphone and a speaker both of which are included with a standard computer or mobile device and a voice over internet protocol software such as skype some voice over internet services um require that you are purchase that you purchase a separate phone and voice over internet protocol router and subscribe to their services other offer certain services free and uh, require a subscription for additional services jaise skype mein bhi hai ke uh kuch cheeze free hain aur kuch agar aapne for example kisi ke ghar phone karna hai ya kisi ke mobile pe call karni hai then you need to have uh, to have a subscription for that so um, if you want to uh, know uh, how to set up a personal voice over internet protocol service and make a call then you have to read the article uh, in your book 2-4 for instructions file transfer protocol ftp is an internet standard that permits file uploading and downloading to and from other computers on the internet uploading is the process of transferring file from your computer or mobile device to a server on the internet recall that downloading is the process of transferring files from a server on the internet to your computer or mobile device web page developers for example often use ftp to upload their web pages to a web server many operating systems include ftp cap capabilities if yours does not you can download ftp programs from the web usually for a small fee An FTP server is a computer that allows user to upload or download files using FTP. FTP An FTP site is a collection of files that reside on an FTP server. Many FTP sites have a non a non anonymous FTP where by anyone can transfer some if not all available files. some ftp sites restrict file transfers to those who are who have authorized uh, accounts uh, means they should have uh, their uh, dedicated user names and passwords and then they can access the ftp server if you want to learn more about the ftp programs i would recommend you to please visit the free resources of this chapter netiquette which is the short for internet etiquette 
is the code of acceptable behaviors a user should follow while on the internet that is it is the conduct expected of individuals while online netiquette includes rules for all aspects of the internet including the web social media internet messaging chat rooms online discussions and ftp ab ye jo aapke samne table hai is that outlines some of the rules of netiquette with respect to online communications agar aapne mazid janna ho ऑनलाइन कम्युनिकेशंस के बारे में और उनके एक्सट्रीम मिसयूज के बारे में तो आप यू कैन गो टू योर यू कैन रीड एथिक्स एंड इश्यूज टू डैश फोर इन योर बुक यहाँ पे इस टेबल को अगर आप थोड़ा सा भी देख लें तो आपको हर चीज बहुत क्लियर हो जाएगी यू नीड टू बी पोलाइट एंड यू नीड टू अवॉइड ऑफेंसिव लैंग्वेज अवॉइड सेंडिंग और पोस्टिंग फ्लेम्स विच आर अब्यूसिव और इंसल्टिंग मैसेजेस Uh, और कि कोई भी हेट कन्वर्सेशन uh, में ट्राई करें नॉट टू पार्टिसिपेट और जैसे ही कोई uh, आपको ऑड मैसेज लगे या लगे कि कोई आपको बुली कर रहा है तो प्लीज ट्राई टू अवॉइड दैट डू नॉट यूज ऑल कैपिटल लेटर्स जो कि इक्वलेंट uh, होता है कि आप शाउट कर रहे हैं सो यू डोंट हैव टू डू दैट यूज इमोटिकॉन्स टू एक्सप्रेस इमोशंस जैसे कि स्माइली है इन डिफरेंस सरप्राइज ये सारे आप यूज करते हैं विंग यूज एब्रीविएशन एंड एक्म्स फॉर फ्रेजेज लाइक बाई द वे के लिए आप बी टी डब्ल्यू लिखते हैं एफ वाई आई जो है फॉर योर इंफॉर्मेशन के लिए लिखते हैं uh, इसी तरह और आप लर्न uh, करें और इसको यूज करें क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाई अपॉयलर विच इज द मैसेज दैट रिवील्स एंड outcome of a game or ending or to a movie or a program uh be forgiving to others mistake kisi se koi zyadati ho jaye to please maaf kare usko aur aage badhe read the facts frequently ask questions if one exists on the server before actually uh, putting that uh, question in front of all वैसे भी आप अपनी आदत बना लें जब भी कोई क्वेश्चन आपके ذہن में आए first try to figure that out by yourself aur agar aap se वो क्वेश्चन का आंसर ना मिल पाए तो फिर आप उस क्वेश्चन को उस प्लेटफॉर्म पे पोस्ट करें या इस कोर्स के केस में अपने टीचर से कंसल्ट करें इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ मीडिया अदर सर्विसेज अवेलेबल ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड नेटिकेट्स 